helps the voiceless creature. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Wet Tutorial. Today we are going to study about the joints of whole limb with the help of simple diagram. The detail of joints of whole limb and hind limb I already made videos earlier. You can watch by clicking the i button. But before starting this, subscribe my channel and also click the bell icon and if you like this video, give a very big thumbs up. Let's begin. It starts with the joints of full limb. First is shoulder joint. The type is ball and socket and the bone involved are glenoid cavity of scapula and head of the humerus. Then second is elbow joint. In this two joints are there radial ulnar articulation and humeroradial articulation. The type of joint in the radial ulnar articulation is diarthrosis in fetus, amphiarthrosis in young and synarthrosis in adult. The bones involved in radial ulnar articulation are posterior lateral aspect of the shaft of radius and anterior surface of body of ulna. And the type of joint in humeroradial articulation is hinge joint. And the bone involved in humeroradial articulation are the con condyles of humerus articulates with the proximal end of the radius. Then third joint is carpal or knee joint. In this, three joints are there. First is radio ulnar carpal articulation. Second is intercarpal articulation. And third is carpometacarpal articulation. In this, the type of joint is hinge joint. The bones involved in the radio ulna carpal articulation are distal end of the radius and ulna with proximal row of carpal. And the bone involved in intercarpal articulation are between the proximal and distal row of carpals. And the bone involved in carpometacarpal articulation are distal carpal with the proximal end of the metacarpal. And then fourth is fetlock joint. In this also type of joint is hinge joint. The bones involved in the fetlock joint are the distal end of metacarpal with the proximal end of first phalanx and the proximal sesamoid bone. Then fifth is pastern joint or proximal interpharyngeal articulation. The type of joint is hinge joint. The bones involved in the pastern joint is lower end of first phalanx and upper end of second phalanx. And then sixth is coffin joint or distal interphalangeal articulation. In this also type of joint is hinge joint. The bones involved in the coffin joint is distal end of the second phalanx with proximal end of the third phalanx and distal sesamoid bone. Lastly, with the help of this picture, I am showing various joints of four limb which will enhance the understanding. Stay safe and let's meet in the next video.